What is going on guys? Victor here. I got Jason Arman. That's Arman Land Based Fishing. Say what's up. What's up? And I got Alec. You guys Yo. know him. Still hasn't started a YouTube channel. Slacking. So as you guys see, we're in our waders. We're going to get on the trout. I'm not even going to talk anymore. This has been an action packed day. Let's get to fishing. Yeah. Right there in that opening. Oh, yeah, what the heck? Every time we come Dude, we catch yeah, and it's definitely not bluefish time of year yet, at least. Thing trucked it though. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a water show for sure. I hope not. I got Trebs. Oh, I think I found the right species. You did? You saying I got the wrong one? Uh, well, kinda. Hey, we're going for a variety pack today. All right, that bluefish is gone. Jason got a nice trout on. First one of the day. Yeah, this one's got teeth too, but he's a little more manageable to uh, to handle and, and say hello to. That is the primary goal for today. He's got a couple fangs, but. We're gonna let him go. All right. Good job, dude. Not bad. Yeah. There it is. We're gonna have to switch to a paddle tail, Alec. Trout number two. Maybe they're not feeling that topwater bite. Both your fish have choked it. They really like that electric chicken. Oh, yeah. So you say this is the average size fish? Oh, lately. Yeah, this 17 inches. I mean, they've been keeper size. A couple in the 22 inch range but good to get some schoolies you know yeah. sometimes i mean everybody wants a big fish but i'd rather get 20 bites than sometimes one bite yeah it keeps you busy plenty of action is that on you alec yeah. alec just got blew up on the top water out there big jack alec i think today's fixing to be a good day it is acting real funny yeah yeah all right i'll let you play with him but tell me this so you're catching the juvies yes your biggest trout though, would you say overall come on top water or paddle tail style baits? Uh, biggest overall on a top water, which was 36 inches, maybe 12 years ago, but I would say I've had a lot of big fish eat a DOA shrimp. A DOA shrimp. So I love me some bass assassin paddle tail, but if you leave me on a desert island, I'm gonna probably tell you to give me a shrimp. Okay. Yeah, they get to that, what? Like 18 inch mark and then they start to they become start. a different fish almost. Yeah, this one really ate it. See from There's no denying they like that electric chicken. Everyone's been down the hatch every time. It's got a little more shoulder stone. A little better fish, maybe pushing 20 inches, mm -hmm. 18 inches. Nice. But yes, gulped it. So guys, I'm fishing this top water, so is Alec, which is usually what you do in low light, early morning or late afternoon and it mimics a mullet or whatever it may be on top that's kind of injured and you're walking the dog to cause a lot of commotion but jason is wrecking them with soft plastic so that's what i'm going to switch to so this is kind of the color scheme that jason's been fishing i'm going to throw chartreuse pink very funky colored bright it seems to get their attention and this is what i mean when i say paddle tail all it is this is little tail that paddles oh no trout Oh yeah. There we go, number one for me. Very, very pretty fish. I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera, but all these little ripples and tails coming out of the water is just one giant mullet pod. And I mean, it's pretty good size. And so the trout and snook, they'll just sit underneath them, ambush them, and then when you hear a pop, that's usually them coming up from bottom to top and blowing up on them. <laughs> I'll show you something cool, because a lot of people want to handle a trout. And a trout is, is a fish that you really don't want to handle a lot. Yep. So what I do when I have these these trout i'll roll the hook into the corner and almost push down okay and, you'll oh, and it see pops right out pops right out you don't have to hold them very long yeah nice safe release and you don't hold them long because of the slime right, right. they're very very fragile yes. fish yeah yes. especially big ones 
I'll take you up on that bass assassin if you got one. <laughs> I want to see the difference. Uh, so this is a cow, and it's a. I can almost guarantee you're gonna see a difference. Really? I mean, I think you I know. You fish. spend a lot of time out here. So this is they're pretty much the same thing in terms of color, shape. It's just. Uh, oh yeah, this is a lot softer. Softer, more tail action. When you when you see it swim, it even has a better you know a better paddle to it. That's yeah. like a real stiff. Yeah. I mean, they both work. But, uh, That's what makes a good fisherman, those subtle, subtle differences. I mean, you got the same profile, same, same color. color. I think with trout too, especially since it's softer, it might help with the hook set too. You're not ripping it out of their mouth as much. Yeah, Thank they you. hold on to it longer, no problem. <laughs> Something like that. First, second, third. The Bass Assassin works, boys and girls. Nice. Oh, nice. come on, you gave me the jack, the jack lure. Hold them right here by the buttons. So how many trout you think are in that school? How many fish you think are right there? 20. Yeah? You think most of the fish stage up in here and are residents or a lot of just I moving? I have to 100% say these fish are here because this bait's here. Okay. Because this bottom where we are, I wouldn't say is all that great. I mean, yeah. now it's deeper, the bottom's a little better, there's more grass, but. Trout? No trout. trout. Um, like the noise of like a trolling motor and stuff like that. I don't think you could pull up in here on your boat. Okay. And catch these fish and have them stay here. Well, you hear them drumming? Standing. I did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I do. He's letting his buddies know. There you go. Yep. Sometimes it's at the end of your cast. Uh -huh. right. Very nice. Just aggressive. And it's because they got a lot of weight in their head and they really use it to their advantage. They really just roll around, you know? Yes. Really? Out there? Spit it. Yeah, the, uh, the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's two in a row. Yeah. We're, we're in them. That one was an aggressive bite. That wasn't a subtle one. That's a better fish there, Victor. Mm-hmm. Mind if I get a fish like that? Yeah, let's do it. Woo! Uh, he swallowed it. Decent. All right, Victor. Nice job on the trout, sir. Yeah, boy. Damn, what are you doing over there? Putting on a clinic, that's insane. Oh, that might be Mr. Snook. That might be the one. It is. Oh. There's a Whoa. lot of life in this little area right here. Hey, buddy. Nice little snook. And so this is a juvenile snook, and this is what they're supposed to be doing. They're supposed to be, you know, kind of in this, uh, environment they'll all up in the mangroves they'll hide in there from dolphins sharks all sorts of predators and he'll spend the majority of his life till it gets to be about probably in that 20 inch range and then they'll move out to the inlet start spawning and stuff mm -hmm. very cool beautiful fish we got the snook we need the red yeah, we do. there we go oh my right there Ooh, he was just on your, um, mm -hmm. this is unreal Seems like they really want it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we are just pitching the mangroves and it seems like you bring it out 10, 20 feet and they're just on it. There's all these little glass minnows pushed up against there and you get a bigger profile bait, it really gets their attention and the trout have just been whacking it. Damn, man. The trout school that is here. There's got to be a hundred plus fish out here. <laughs> Air trout. Oh, triple. Oh, triple up. This is epic. There we go. Hey, I got my bass assassin back. Jeez. <laughs> 
That is insane. Alec is over a dozen fish in the exact same spot. Normally with me, no, because I'm in a fear thing. Dude, as soon as it hit the water, they're out there. But, um, that is That's what I thought. Woo! Yeah, that is a better one. Um, I mean, if you want. I got a sick, yeah, that came out. Oh, sick. awesome. Is that the X or what is that? Yeah, what phone is that? Oh, I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> oh my God. What the? What is that, a manatee or a shark? Dude, what in the hell was that? It's giant. <laughs> Did you hook that thing? Dude, I'm sitting here talking to you. <laughs> I feel oh thump and I went like this. That was that was not a, a fish fish. That, that was a manatee, I think. Yeah, that was a giant roll. What the maybe hell? Maybe he's maybe he swam into your line. Startled me so. Oh, well, dude, they're out there. I just got hit three times in a row. Oh, that's feeling better. Oh, this is feeling substantial. Please be a red drum. This thing is digging deep, dude. Unless it's foul. Oh, it's a foul hook trout. Yeah. Foul hooked, wow, I've never in my life hooked a trout in the side of the skin like that. That's crazy. Victor, you want a man? Heck no. <laughs> Bass assassin for life after today, I believe. Whoa, oh, that, that, doom. Dude, that <laughs> I love that sound. No, it's just a bigger fish. Gator rolling. That's my biggest fish of the day for sure. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Sick. Aggressive head shakes. We all probably have caught at least 10 by now. Oh, that was a good release. Oh, it makes sense. Easy. Yeah, he is. Or she. Oh, Sparkleton. You've been fishing the river how long? Oh, this river, I would have to say close to 20 years, Victor. Okay, 20 years. And you said that this is 30 to 40 trout was a little bit above average back in the day. I would say eight years ago, that used to be a very common number. Okay. And so what do you think? I mean, there's, I know a lot of my viewers and a lot of people know about the whole water crisis and the uh, Laco discharges. What do you think? You think it's a loss of habitat in the river or what uh, do you think it is that's yeah, made it decline? I would have to say without a doubt, it's the lack of habitat. I mean, a sea trout, his main growing up area is seagrass. You know, if there's nowhere for the fish to hang out, I mean, today there's bait here. And you know, whether it's at this spot or any other spot in the Indian River, it's just the lack of grass yep. is making the lack of the fish to want to hang out in these areas for a long time. As silly as this might sound, I really am curious if they actually went out into the ocean. Okay. A lot of people struggle catching trout these days. So it's not just two feet of water, yeah. 10 feet of water. They went somewhere yeah I'll tell you what i'm not not trying to catch a fish oh that feels be better oh i'm over you right out this thing's either foul hooked or big oh we got a triple it's not doing the jacktail oh no that's Is it gonna be a big trout, Jason? What you think? I went finesse drag on him. I went finesse drag. It just ran around me, literally around me. <laughs> it ran into my feet. No. I swear, if this is a jack. Oh no, it's a foul hook trout again. Yeah. I mean, it's a decent one, but it's foul hooked. Yeah. 
Hey, we got our double though. Not a bad morning, gentlemen. We got a, we got a triple double. Over here. You. Very nice. There's one right there. Uh, yeah. Come on. I mean, this is the best trout day I ever had, and we're kind of making our way back to where we started. I just caught one. Alec just caught one, and the fish earlier in the morning were all kind of close to the mangrove shoreline, and the baits definitely spread out a bit. And I think that the since the sun came up, those trout are definitely seeking refuge in that deeper water. I think they might not feel as comfortable in the skinny waters. The sun comes up, and so we're just picking at them. You know, maybe one every five, ten minutes, kind of out there in that deeper water. There was a bite. And so whenever I used to work a paddle tail, I never used to work it this aggressively, but Jason's definitely turned my mind on that whole um, work in the lure. He tell, told us, you know, work it really aggressively and it works. It gets them fired up. I think it really provokes them to eat and also gets their attention because there's so much bait. You got to single out, you know, one trout to eat your one bait in a million. I mean, as silly as this might sound, out of the 40 trout that we probably handled as well as we can handle, mm -hmm. 10 of them will probably die in a week. Just because, because they lose the slime. Just touching them and taking the slime coat off the fish. So. Well, that's unpreventable. That's a part of fishing. It's catch and release. Exactly. Exactly. That is a part of fishing. I mean, I am very big on catch and release. All right, guys. So we are done fishing. And I mean, I personally had an awesome time. That's the most trout I've ever caught. And I fished this spot so many times now. And Jason's fished it. And you say it's pretty, pretty good for what yeah, it's been, right? No, lately it has been really good. I mean, we got a couple snook and trout and redfish the other day before Victor getting out here. But today was like a total trout slay fest. Yeah. I mean, I was telling him earlier, we gotta have caught 40 fish between both of us, and I don't know, I think we've only been out here like an hour and a half, mm -hmm. so not a bad morning. One thing I wanted to touch upon, so Jason Arman actually has a land-based wade fishing service, which I think is very cool and very unique. So I'm gonna let him tell you guys a little bit about it, the gist of it, because I know I get a ton of questions, do I charter? I don't charter, but I got friends like this who do, and he's a good guy. You know, we spend a lot of time out here, and I learned a lot today. 20 years on the river, you know a thing or two, so I'm gonna <laughs> let him take it away for a little bit. So, my land-based guide service, it's That's Our Man Land-Based Fishing. You could Google me, you could find me on Facebook, you could find me on Instagram as That's Our Man. Um, I work at Billy Bones Bait and Tackle in Port St. Lucie here, so you can come talk to me there. Um, like Victor said, I've been on the water here 20 years, and wade fishing is definitely something I do a lot. Uh, you can give me a call, or Victor will probably put my link on the yes. video. And all his links, all his information will be linked in the description box below, guys. Yeah, and I supply everything from my customers, from the waders to the poles to the lures. I kind of advertise myself as no boat, no bait, so it's a little bit of a niche I have. If you don't want to go on the boat and you don't feel like being bored with bait, come fishing with me yeah. so i'm telling you guys it's it's a fun interactive experience and it's not the cool thing about doing something like this is you're doing it yourself if you've ever been on a charter like you know especially a sport fish boat most of the time the mates are doing things but you're the one fishing which yeah. is very no, unique i mean sometimes it helps also you know the guide being out there on the water and knowing where the fish are i mean there was a couple times i think i told your buddy hey cast over there by the mangroves and he ended up plucking out like yeah. 15 trout, so. So you guys heard it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, all of the links will be in the description box below, as well as guys, the new Snook shirts. You guys can't see it, it's on the back. Those are coming very soon, so look forward to that, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video. Peace. Peace.